Hi guys, this is Jamaica Natural L'Oreal. Hi, well gone. You're good. And I'm here with another tutorial. Yes, it is an updo, a flexi rod set updo. But before I start, let me just ask you guys, have you ever heard of avocado butter? This is like my new fave avocado butter. Like bye shea butter. I see you. Bye. Avocado butter, I swear to you, is my new fave. It's it it's unscented, so it has no smell. Well, the one that I bought is unscented, but it melts in your hair. Like real butter. <laughs> but seriously, you guys, it just I mean, oh my god, my ends love this thing. It comes out thick like that, and then when you rub it up. In your hand, rub it up, rub it up, rub it up. It's like it becomes the it 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 melts. You see that? It becomes the oil. You know, waste nothing. So let me just rub that in my edges like that. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So from now on, this is the butter that I'm using. I'm using avocado butter both in my hair and in my children's hair. Okay. Yes, I'm using it. So anyway, let's get started for this tutorial. For this, this is unedited. I'm not wait. I'm not going to edit this out okay beep <laughs> for this tutorial for this tutorial for this hairstyle all you guys need are two sets of rods a small flexi rod and that's for the bangs that we'll be creating yes and a large flexi rod our medium side flexi rod there you go now um for your hair length depending on your hair length this might be your small and then the one that's bigger than this might be your large so it depends on your hair length all right so let's get started hold on hold on hold on before you start you need something to secure your hair with because we'll be doing this style up yes up also you need something to section your hair with now, I'm on the no comb challenge, so I'll be only using these to section my hair. I use my fingers to detangle. So, I'm using this to section my hair and maybe this, depending on the tangles or not. Um, you definitely need something, some kind of styling agent, some gel, curly pudding, whatever you use to define your curls. Um, African Pride shea butter miracle moisture intense bouncy curl pudding this works for my hair sometimes it was a love and hate relationship with this but this really works this really works this is a lot of body let me put the liquid down so y'all can see it got it all right so grab your styling agent and let's get started all right so definitely you need to section your hair ensure that your hair is moisturized because you don't want to add um, defining creams or puddings to your hair ends and it's not moisturized. Your hair ends are going to become dry and brittle. So ensure that your hair is moisturized either by spritzing it with a little bit of water, sealing it up with your perfect oil, whatever oils you normally use or your butter, whatever butter you use. All right, so let's go. You're going to section your hair. Kind of like an upside down triangle, right? And you go as high as you want, depending on the thickness of the 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 thickness of your bangs. Okay. Now I'm doing my bangs slightly to the side, so it's going to be to the side like so. So you'd have the updo all curls up, and then you'll have the the bang to the side like pow all right so it's a staggered triangle or something like that all right so you section your hair and then you separate so you get something to put this up and you get something to put this down <laughs> so there you go well no it's not a triangle it's kind of like an oval or a semicircle, yeah, semicircle. So create a semicircle in your hair, which is here to there. You know, if it's not the part, because I'm saying that I wanted a side bang. So notice how I part my hair. I started from like right here. Yes. Notice the amount that's left out here. 
So I start it from right here, then I just come it all the way around. I bring it a little bit down. So see, look at the difference. One right here and one all the way down there. Notice that? See that? Because I want the bangs to be like, like this. Got that? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put this out of the way. Because you work with the most technical part first, which is always the puff. All right, so I'm going to get that out of the way. If you have a brush, you can go ahead now and brush your hair up. So I'm just going to put my hair back up in one. This little comb, I'm just going to straighten the, 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 the coils right here, around the back. And I'm going to put my hair back up. Like this. And then we're going to apply our rods at the top. All right, so be right back. Now to get your puff really, or to get your curls really popping, to get this hairstyle to be really popping, I will highly suggest that you guys get the puff to the highest point of your head, right at the top, like right above the bang, like right there. That's where you want your puff to be. All right, so let's get started. I'll be using both of these. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna test the um curl definition with this product at the front and this product at the top so i'll be definitely using both of them so all right so take a section of your hair remember you work with detangle here you can use your comb and detangle but for me i'm using my fingers because i'm still on that no comb challenge all right so you take a medium size section medium size section like about that amount can you guys see there like about that amount and then you're going to go ahead and apply your defining agent your curl defining agent onto the hair all right so i'm using this i'm using the latter body for the top let me just sprinkle some on it oh maybe a little bit too much then you get your rods the big ones right and then you're you stretch out your hair, elongate your hair, and then you're going to apply your rods all over from the bottom to the top. This is considered the top where the the um where this thing is, right? So you start from the bottom and you simply twist as you go. So you want it like that. You want it in a spiral side, spiral effect right look so look you don't want to put them on like this don't put it on like that roll it on spiral like that you guys can see so it would look like this you'd have spaces in between depending on the length of your hair all right do that as tight as possible and then you go ahead and you secure and you're basically going to do that for the entire section the entire top part of your head so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then when i'm ready to do the front part i'll come back nobody but my love to me maybe angels gonna be so many curl formations in this but there I've completed it with the rods the perm rods and the flexi rods so I'm gonna go ahead and do the front so for the front I'm gonna use smaller rods and don't worry I, have, I bought two packs of these bad boys pow so I cannot run out all right so you're going to let me just rub some of my avocado butter on my ends. Just to rub that in. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna do the same process for the same thing that you do with the top of your head, the top part of your hair, is the exact same thing you're going to do for the front. But this time you're going to ensure that all your rods are facing downwards, the side that you want the, the curls to fall. So if your bang is on this side, and if, or if you want your bang or your curls to form on this side, you do all the rods this way for me i want all my my curls to be on the left side so i'm going to ensure that all my curls all my rods are coming this way you're going to start from top to bottom so if it was the other side then you start from top to bottom all right i'm going to need my section comb where did i do with it where is it okay found it all right so go ahead Section your hair. Secure that away. That side away. Go ahead and detangle. And then you're going to go ahead and from your eyes. Now these are supposed to be small. Not medium, not large, small. Because you want the definition to be really tight. Right? So, small. So, ensure that you have enough rods. All right. I'm going to use my African Pride Bouncy Curl Pudding. I'm going to use it and just saturate all the hair. And I'm going to go ahead and apply my rods. Get out of the way. Same thing from the end. For this one, you're going to turn here, come out of the way. Turn up around like this, around the here. Up again around the hair. Up again. I need to show you guys exactly what it is. Alright, so you get your hair, elongate your hair to the tip, put your rods at the end, over. So you're going to do up, around, up around are you guys seeing it up around up that that and then you'll go ahead and you secure let me do one more and show you guys so go ahead and um get your hair all coated root to tip and I'm just detangling in the process all right root to tip get your rod elongate blank check elongate then you're going to go ahead put your rods at the end curl up around up around up around up and boom now for me i'm not doing it all the way to the top because i want that kind of puffy effect well tomorrow you'll see when i pull it out but yeah there there you go so you're going to go ahead and you're going to do all the rest of it here exactly the same. Be right back.